Page 33, Juanita. On page 32, they're showing you some different styles you can use in the left hand for the bass for the accompaniment. They're showing the different styles you can play for the chords. They're, they're using the primary chords, which is fine. The first one is the broken chord. That's one way of doing it. The next is the just the chord. Again, that's okay. Third one is the waltz. And the last one is what's called an Alberti bass. It's used a lot uh, broken classical uh, Mozart, Beethoven, all. And again, when I play these, I'm not using the fingers, I'm just rotating, I'm shifting the weight here. Like that. Boom, 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 boom. But if you're going to improvise, uh, instead of block chords all the time, these different try these different patterns. Experiment different times. And Juanita, they're using this broken pattern in the bass. After you learn it, try it with the other style. Do, are, are they? Yeah, they're at the bottom of the page. They're suggesting the waltz style. So rather than this, do this. You're using the same three notes, you're just using the waltz style, the bottom note and the top two together. Yeah, that's fine. Learn it the way it's written first, and then if you want to improvise and change things, absolutely go for it. And this is an arrangement anyway, so rearrange it if you want to. Sure. In Juanita, now this is in the key of F major. It's got one flat. Mm -hmm. Three, four time. It has eighth notes all over the place. At the beginning, you're starting with fourth finger on it. You're not starting in an F position. Just fourth finger on that, and then so it's one and two and three and one and two. Got to count this out carefully. Third measure: one and two and three and one and two, like so. Second line. Look at the third measure. You hear one and two. Reach down. There. And then in the third line, just lift up and move up. One and two and three and one and two and three and. and lift up and move down. One and two and three and one. The rhythm. One little tricky spot. Actually, it's two spots, but they're the same thing. They happen twice. It's the end of the second line and it's the end of the last line in the left hand. Look at that. You have an F, it's a dotted half note. Then right above that F there's a quarter rest. And I don't know if we've had voices or not. But that's telling you there's two voices going on here. The bottom voice is the F. And the voice right above it is resting. And then we have a half note with the A and the C. That's the top voice. Turns out to be two of them, isn't it? The point is, you got to hold the F down for three counts. While you play the F and the C, you're holding the F down. The A and the C. So, so, so it's this. One, two, three. So for the last two beats of the measure, all three notes are down, is what I'm saying. So that's how that works. The bottom at the end of the last line, there's a DC Alphine. DC means... Go back to the beginning. Hopefully you know that already. Fine is at the end of the second line. So we're going to do all four lines. And then we're going to go back and do the first two lines again. So let's try this together very slowly to check the notes and the rhythms. Now, I'm assuming you've practiced it and learned it. And you just want to check stuff. It's on Dante. It's not a fast piece. We're going to go slow. You can speed it up on your own. The melody is in the right hand. So try and play the right hand a little louder than the left. And the, they don't give you much in dynamics. MP at the beginning, sort of soft for the, that's. So keep the left hand under that. And then in the third line, that's medium loud, which is a little louder than that. And then you got a crescendo up to loud. And then come back down and. The last line you're crescendoing like you did in the third line. So you can adjust the dynamics a little bit and make it more interesting. 
when we do the play with me, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play the notes and the rhythms because that's all I want to check with you. You do the dynamics. So right hand here, left hand here. I'll give us three counts. One, ready and go. And one and two and. 